Check this out with STEM. You ready? Percentage of total graduates in STEM fields. China, 41%. Russia, 37%. Germany, 36%. Iran, 33%. India, 30%. France, 26%. Mexico, 26%. You know where we are? 20%. China's 2Xing us. Not only do they have a bigger population, then imagine they're also 2Xing the focus on STEM. How do you compete with them? in the future. So that's real data. Competition, let's talk raw competition. Next one here, you ready? Top countries by number of STEM graduates. China, 3.57 million. India, 2.55. US, 820. Change the curriculum and let it focus mainly on STEM. We can't keep allowing or even encouraging our children to study whatever they want when there is evidence that some subjects and modules simply yield better outcomes than others. Now, before you start sharpening your pitchforks, I am not saying that other subjects don't matter. But let's just be honest. Some studies are just more necessary than others when it comes to economic growth, infrastructure development, and maintenance. That's why we need a real connection between high schools, universities, and the private sector. Every year, we should be tracking which fields are overflowing with graduates and which ones are desperate for skilled professionals, and then we act accordingly. Universities shouldn't be enrolling thousands of students in degrees that will only lead to unemployment and frustration. That is not nice to see, guys. High schools should get the memo very early on so that students can pick their subjects in grade 9 and pick subjects that actually align with real-life career opportunities. And while we at it, can we please retire mathematical literacy? I mean, let's be real. Getting 90% in math lit doesn't open up the doors that even a 50% in pure math does. We've seen it time and time again how maths lit has blocked young people from pursuing careers that could have served them better, that could have secured them better jobs and even higher salaries. It's time to stop setting kids up for failure, guys. Come on.